Hi everyone, in this video we'll discuss how to find out if the given linked list is a palindrome or not. I'll explain two methods by which we can solve this problem. So we are given the head of a linked list and we need to return true or false depending on the linked list is a palindrome or not. So palindrome is basically a word or a phrase in which the sequence reads the same backward as forward. Let's take an example. So we have this word race car. So if you read this word from the left, it is race car. And if you read it from backwards, it is again race car. So if the word is same from the forward as well as from the backward, then we call that word or phrase as palindrome. So here we are given the head of a linked list and we have to find out whether the linked list is a palindrome or not. So let's take an example. So if we traverse the linked list starting from the head, we have A, B, C, C, B, A. And if we read it from backward, we again have A, B, C, C, B, A. So since the linked list is the same, if we traverse from head or we traverse from end, then we can call this linked list as a palindrome. So the answer for this will be true because the linked list is a palindrome. Let's take one more example. So now here the linked list is A, B, C, B, A. And if we reverse the linked list, it again becomes A, B, C, B, A. So therefore, this is also a palindrome linked list. In the third example, the linked list is A, B, C, D, B, A. And if we take the reverse of the linked list, we get A, B, D, C, B, A. So now these two are not equal. Since the linked list is not equal to the reverse of the linked list, so therefore this linked list is not a palindrome. And in this case, we need to return false. So we are given the head of a linked list and we have to find out whether the linked list is a palindrome or not. So there are various methods to solve this. In this video, I will focus on two methods by which we can find out if the linked list is a palindrome. Let's have a look at the first method. So for a linked list to be a palindrome, linked list should be equal to the reverse of the linked list. So if we just find out the reverse of the linked list and then compare it with the original linked list, if these two are equal, we can find out if the linked list is a palindrome or not. Now to find out the reverse, we have various methods. So one easiest method to find the reverse is we can just store all the nodes in the stack. So in the first step, we push all the nodes in the stack. Then we compare the nodes in the stack with the nodes in the linked list. If there is a mismatch, we return false. So let's say we keep a stack and we push all the nodes which are in the linked list to the stack. So we start with head. So we push A, then we push B, then C, then B, and then A. So once we have all the nodes in the stack, we'll compare top of the stack with the pointer of the linked list. So we'll compare A with A. So both are equal. So we'll pop A and we'll compare B with the next pointer in the linked list. So we'll compare this two B's. So these are also equal. So we'll pop B. Then we'll compare C with C. These two are also equal. Then we'll compare B with B and A with A. So since all the nodes match, so this linked list is a palindrome. But if there is a mismatch, let's say the linked list is A, B, C and B. Let's say this is the linked list. So in the first step, we push all the nodes in the stack. So first we push A, then we push B, then C and then B. So now we compare the pointer in the linked list with the top of the stack. So we'll compare A with B. So these two are not equal. So we can say that the linked list is not a palindrome. So the benefit of putting nodes in the stack is the last node of the linked list is on the top of the stack. So, so basically in this stack, we are storing the reverse of the linked list. So the last node, which is B, 
is on the top of the stack. So we can simply compare top node of the stack with the first node of the linked list. If these are not equal, that means the linked list is not a palindrome. If these are equal, then we proceed to matching the next node. So to match the next node, we pop the node from the stack and we move the pointer in the linked list to the next node. So like this, we keep on going till the stack is empty. If we do not find any mismatch, that means the linked list is a palindrome. If at any point we find a mismatch, that means the linked list is not a palindrome. So if we look at the time complexity of this method, the time complexity is order of n and the space complexity is also order of n because we are using a stack to store the nodes. So this method was pretty obvious because it derives from the definition of the palindrome that the word should be equal to the reverse. So to store the reverse, we use a stack. But most of the times when you give this solution to the interviewer, the follow up will be, can we do this in order of one space? So without using an extra space, can we find out whether the linked list is a palindrome? Now let's see how we can do that. So in the second method, we'll find out whether the linked list is palindrome or not without using any extra space. So for a word to be equal to the reverse of itself, there should be a anchor point, which is the middle point. Because both of the left and the right parts are mirror image around that center point. So let's say we have this word race car. So in the first step, we'll find out the midpoint of the linked list. So now we know the midpoint is E. Once we know the midpoint, we'll reverse the linked list starting from the midpoint. So we'll reverse E, C, A and R. And then we'll compare this reverse part to the first part. If these are equal, that means the linked list is a palindrome. So we have broken down into three steps. In the first step, we find the midpoint of the linked list. So for the linked list which we are given A, B, C, B, A, we have found out that the midpoint is C. Then we reverse the second half of the linked list. So we reverse the linked list starting from C. So we reverse C, B, A. And then we compare the first half with the reversed second half. So we are comparing A, B, C with the reverse of C, B, A. If these are equal, that means the linked list is a palindrome. If there is a mismatch, we can return false. Now here we can see that the linked list had odd number of nodes. So here we have five number of nodes. So the midpoint is C because we have two nodes on the left and two nodes on the right. But what if the linked list has even number of nodes? So let's consider this example where the nodes are even. So when the number of nodes are even, we have two midpoints. So these two are the midpoints. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to find out the second midpoint. And starting from second midpoint, we will reverse this linked list. So we'll reverse CBA and we'll compare it with ABC. If these are equal, that means the linked list is a palindrome. If there's a mismatch, that means the linked list is not a palindrome. And how long will we traverse to match? So if this is the midpoint, basically we'll match till the midpoint is not equal to null. So starting from this C, we'll match this node, then B, then A, then it reaches null. So here we'll match three nodes. Here also midpoint is this. So we'll match three nodes, C, B, A, and then null. Now this problem is a combination of two problems. First, we have to find the midpoint and then we have to find the reverse. So these are two separate problems which I've already explained in my previous videos. To find out the midpoint, we can make use of two pointers, slow and fast. So both will point to head of the linked list. Slow will move by one pointer and fast will move by two pointer. And when the fast reaches null, then slow will point to the midpoint. If there is only one midpoint, slow will point to it. If there are two midpoints in the linked list, slow will point to the second midpoint. 
So this finding the midpoint I have already explained in my previous videos. I will link that video in the top right corner. And to find the reverse, we also have the iterative method and the recursive method that also I have explained in the previous video. I will also link that in the description and in the top right corner. So once we know how to find the midpoint and how to find the reverse of the linked list, then it is a simple traversal. One pointer is at head of the linked list and the second pointer is at midpoint of the linked list. And from there onwards, we'll compare all the nodes of the linked list till the midpoint becomes null. If there is a mismatch, we return false. If there is no mismatch, we return true. So once you've understood this algorithm, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository, link of which is present here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, first I create the linked list. So I've created three linked lists, which I've shown in the left. And then I call this function is palindrome three times. In each of its call, I pass the head of the linked list. So first I pass head one, then head two, and then head three. In this function is palindrome, first I find the mid of the linked list. In this function find middle, I use two pointers, slow and fast. Slow I move by one pointer, fast I move by two pointers. So once this loop ends, slow will point to the midpoint of the linked list. So in the function is palindrome, I now have the midpoint of the linked list. Then I pass this midpoint to the reverse function. So we take the first example. In this function is palindrome, we pass head of the linked list, which is starting from A. This mid function gives us the node C, which I've circled in red. So we pass this red node to this function reverse. So it reverses the linked list. So it reverses C, B, A to A, B and C. So mid is pointing to A. And then from here onwards, we'll run this while loop and we compare head with mid which is pointing to a so head is at a so we compare a with a so these this is equal we move head and mid to the next node then we compare b with b and c with c so there is no mismatch so we return true if we take the third example so this mid function will find the node as d because d is the midpoint we reverse the nodes starting from d so it will give us a b and d so now head is at A and the mid is also at A. So we compare both of these. These are equal. Then we proceed to the next node. So next node is B and the head is also moved at B. So now both are equal. In the next iteration, we compare D node with C. So now these two are not equal. So we return false. In the main function, I print the output of each of these functions. So let's see the output of this code. So the first linked list is a b c c b a which is a palindrome so the function returns one which is true second linked list is a b c b a which is also palindrome so the function returns true the third linked list is a b c d b a so this is not a palindrome so the function returns zero which is false so this problem is also available on lead code as question number 234 palindrome linked list i pasted the same code here and it is success so that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.